Well, it is Mother's Day week. And so in honor of that, and because I like to talk basketball, I brought in somebody who is kind of in the family business with his mom. This is TJ Klein, and uh, TJ is normally playing professional basketball, but he's home for the summer. Tell me what you're doing with your mom this summer. So me and my mom are uh, we're getting together and working some basketball camps together uh, at the Fil Frisco Fieldhouse. Um, this is the second year that I've been on the title with my mom uh, ever since I got done with college. So we're really excited that we get to you know, share this little you know, this experience together and, and help kids in the process. So we're ready for a big summer and I think, um, I think everybody in the community should be ready too. Well, Nancy Lieberman, TJ Klein basketball camps happen in July up in, in Frisco at Fieldhouse USA. And this is not something that just started. Your mom's been doing these for close to 40 years. How long have you kind of been involved at whatever level? Um, so I guess my, my earliest memory is probably since I was five years old. I was running around the camps uh, causing havoc and, and ruckus everywhere. But uh, now, now getting to run it seems a little full circle. Um, but it's just it's a great camp. You learn the skills and the drills, but you get to play at the same time. You learn communication, um, teamwork, and, and it's really, you know, you got pros coming in there teaching you. So it's uh, you learn the details that kind of take you to that next level. And um, the kids who kind of embrace it are the kids who, uh, who make those high school and college teams. What is something that a kid who goes to a camp is going to be able to take away from it that when they go to play on their high school team, or they go to play on their middle school team, they're going to be able to retain and, and make them better that's going to linger over from the summer? Well, I'd say, you know, in today's day and age, kids are just always wanting to go play, play, play. You know, you have these AAU tournaments that are, you know, six, you know, six, seven games a weekend. And so that's the natural thing. You get on the court, you lace your shoes up and play. But that's not exactly how it's going to be at the next level. And I understand that for, you know, a youth age. I grew up and I didn't really realize it till, till my end of high school. But uh, you got to do the, the dirty work. You got to do the details, the skill and the drill. Um, the drills that we've learned from the coaches that my mom's been around, Rick Carlisle, um, you know, Dave Yeager, all these NBA minds that she's got to be around. And in my professional career that I've got to be around. And these little details to the drill is what really we've seen it firsthand take people from you know, that level to getting a scholarship or you know, being a scholarship guy to making the professional ranks. And so we'll teach you, we'll skill in your drill. We promise we, we know what we're talking about. Um, that's kind of what we hang our hat on. We won't just let you go out there and you will be better from when you leave than when you get there and that's kind of our calling card um, my mom will not settle for anything less uh, I think it may it really makes it one of the great camps you know in, in the state and in the community and so we're very excited and it's and it's still very fun you still do get to play a lot oh I go man there, you you're playing five on five down. games but you know the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna skill and drill we're gonna make sure you know how to play as a team we're gonna get you on a team running one-on-one -on -one, two on two three on three teaching you the things and then we'll let you have those tools and go out and play on your own. So there will be a lot of games, there will be a lot of competition, but we will teach first. And it's, one of the things that's always neat is y you guys judge who plays together it has nothing to do with gender. I mean, it's, no. it, there's, there's girls, boys playing on the same teams, and I'm sure that's a product of your mom's outlook. Yeah, and it's also to do, it has nothing to do with age either. You know, my mom was, you know, 12, 13, 14 going to Rucker Park trying to play with the older guys. Um, you know, ever since I was little, she's always told me to play against higher competition. Uh, I've always tried to do that. So you're not going to be judged on your age or your gender, whatever, however you can play. You know, if, if, if you feel that you, can, that you can play in the NBA division and you're 12 years old, who are we to hold you back? You come up to us, we'll talk to us, you know, a parent wants to talk to us, anything, and we'll get you to that right level that you're supposed to be at because nothing should be holding you back or hindering you from, from reaching your full potential. I mean, I don't think that you know, any of the greats have ever been held back. They've always been pushed to put to their farthest limits. So we're going to put you in the best possible chance to succeed, and uh, it's, it's pretty exciting. Well, one of the kids that came out of the camp that went on to get a scholarship and went on to play after that is TJ. And so right now he's uh, just finished a season in Israel. Tell us a little bit about some of the ups and downs of your season with Hapoel alone and, and what's next. Um, no, we had, a, we had a great season this season. We got to play in the Champions League in Israel. Um, so we played the Domestic League, the Winter League, and also in the Champions League, which is European competition. Got to play a lot of you know, great teams from Italy, France, um, you know, Spain. Just a really, really talented overseas group that we had. And uh, we also got to, we were in the Israeli Cup, so that was cool. And then I also got to play for the national team, which is a really good experience. We got to play Germany, and we got to go travel and play Serbia. I mean, that was an experience that I've, uh, I've never, never thought it could happen. And it was just, it was truly mind-blowing. Um, but at the end of the season, I, uh, I herniated a disc in my back, pinching on a nerve, and it set my season a little bit short. So I had to come back here, do treatment, see doctors. Uh, I'm currently doing that right now. 
Um, hopefully getting healthy enough to, to play in summer league. Um, that's the plan for now. And uh, we're finding the team, we're finding the right situation, but, but the main thing is getting healthy. And it's been an up and down season, but such a blessed season, wouldn't, take, wouldn't trade it for anything else. And you know, I really did love it over there. And of course, TJ is a North Texas area product. Um, and so last year you did play summer league ball for mm -hmm. the Bucks. What, how can that help you? If, you? if you do get an opportunity to play summer league ball, what are you trying to do once you get in there? Well, I think just uh, establishing a role, bringing the energy. And last year, I thought I did a really good job of bringing energy and toughness and, and communication. I was very vocal out there. And I think that's what a lot of guys, you know, teams look for. Um, guys who will bring it every day, who want to make everybody else better, you know, really team guys. And so I try to do that. Um, my time at Richmond really helped me. We played the Princeton style. We ran it at Richmond. And that's what kind of the NBA games developed to. A lot of dribble handoff, a, little, a lot of back doors, a lot of coming off screens. And that's kind of what we pride our, prided ourselves on at Richmond. So um, that really helped the transition that much smoother last year. And then taking what I already knew and then adding from the coaches that were at the Bucks that just really raised my level. I think going back will give me a sense of uh, familiarity and just kind of confidence that I already have been through this once and now I can go back and do it again, even to be more successful. All right, so for all the NBA execs that are watching this, and I know there are a lot of you that regularly read the Fort Worth Weekly, <laughs> TJ's got a lot to offer your summer league team, I'm just saying. Promise. <laughs> all right. <laughs> TJ, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. With TJ Klein, I'm Rush Olson for the Fort Worth Weekly.